And now, let's see who is in the Razzle Dazzle pub and eatery. The year is 1080. The time is 1 p.m. Good morning, General. I have not looked to see you here so early. What can I get for you? You know what I require. The usual, then? <laughs> Coming right up. Here you go. I thank you. Oh. Come to speak with me already? Yes, the rumors have been circulating that you are the nosiest patron that has ever graced an establishment. Suffice it to say, I knew my time would come sooner or later. I suppose introductions are in order? My name is Tarnidas. Tarnidas Bracken. My family has occupied the outcroppings of Flame Candle for many years. Our people have dealt in trade with the other clans from Windsweep to Rockfell in that time. But my family in particular are the warriors of our clan. I am the oldest of five siblings, and being the oldest, I think that the burden weighs the heaviest on me. I thank the gods almost every day that I am the most even-tempered of our lot, or else nothing would ever get done. You see, long ago my ancestors laid the groundwork for our proud traditions. Traditions that have been handed down from father to son. They have been bonded into our flesh by fire. So you see. I do not intend for them to be ignored. Some of my kin would not agree, I'm afraid. Like Joel. He is... Well... Difficult is the best I can say about him. But I digress. The times being what they are, we must look to the future and what it holds for us. I hear tell the, that the princess of Rockfell clan has gone on a journey to recover some peasant from the clutches of the Dark One. Foolish child. She will not return. Of that I have no doubt. In the meantime, I have my own ambitions of how best to deal with the dark shadow that lies beyond the mountains. But that plan will have to keep until I am certain that the proper form of attack can be achieved. <laughs> no, no. It is not a plan I intend to share with you. For all I know, you could be a spy rooting up secrets for the Dark One to bend to his will. No, my friend. I'm afraid you do not have the measure of me. And your company, while mildly entertaining, does not endear me to you in the slightest. This being the case, I shall take my leave of you. Good morrow. <laughs> <laughs>